Welcome back. This is lesson three of Machine Learning Zoom Camp session five. And in this lesson, we will talk about web services. And we will also talk about a framework, a Python framework for creating web services called Flask. Remember, we talked about this. So the way we want to use our model is uh, we want to put it inside into a churn service. And this service, the marketing service, will communicate with our churn service. It will send some requests and it will get some responses. So we want, uh, instead of running this predict.py script, putting the customer there in the script, we want to make it available as web service. And the web service, as we see, is a method for communicating between two devices over a network. So let's say we have our web service and let's say we have a user of our web service. So somebody who wants to make a request. So they send the request and they send some information in this request. So for example, if you go to Google, like I just did and look for web service. So you send a request and then the, there are some parameters like query equals web service so this is uh, what i sent here so q equals web service and then for spaces they use plus and then i get back a result with whatever web service wants to make with this query so in this particular case if we're talking about google so google returns us a um, web page with different results so let's say if um, you Google for machine learning zoom camp it will return you some results and one of them will be a github repo which you can also star. So this is a web service. Web service is a service that you communicate with over a network using some protocol. So usually what we use is um, like TCP IP and things like this. So we don't need to worry about all that because we can use Flask for implementing that. And it takes care of all these uh, internals. All we need to know is um, how can we communicate with this. So let's create a simple service. So we want to create a service that you send it a query to ping address and it replies with Pong. And that's all it does. I just want to show you how to create web services with Flask. It's quite simple. So let's do that. Just create a file, which I'll call ping. So what we want to do is a function. Let's say, let's call this function ping, which will return Pong when we invoke it. So as simple as that, we can quickly test this function. So let's call IPython and then import ping and then ping ping and then it replies with Pong. So what I did, I just imported the file that we created and I invoked a function from this uh, file. Right, and it replied with Pong. What we want to do now is we want to turn this function into a web service and we will use Flask for that. So for that, we, of course, we need to install Flask. I think I have it here, pip install Flask. If you don't have, yeah, I already have it, but uh, this is how you install Flask using pip install Flask. And then from Flask, you import Flask, capital F, and then you create a Flask app. And you need to give it a name. Let's call it pink. And now you need to put a decorator on this function. So decorator is just a way to add some extra functionality to our functions. And this extra functionality that we're going to add will allow us to turn this function into a web service. So let's call it app root. And root is, uh, we will now specify on which address this function will live. So let's say it will live in the, by the pink address and then um, methods, uh, how exactly we are going to access this root, this address. So we will use the get method. So if you're not sure what get is, what post is, probably just also Google get post, get post web service. Then, yeah, just take the first link and you can read an explanation. What is get? What is post? What are the other things? Uh, when we entered this website, we sent a get request. The browser sent a get request. So we want to access this function using the get method and it will live by the ping address uh, slash ping. We're almost done. So what we need to do is now just do a run. We'll uh, run it in the debug mode. And then we need to specify the host we're running on. So I'll use the 0000, which is um, the same as local host. And port will be, I don't know, 9696. Um, and this thing should live inside so-called the main method uh, in Python, uh, Python main. So this is top level script environment. So this is uh, underscore, underscore, main, underscore, underscore. So this is what we need to do. It is executed only when we do Python ping.py. And we do this by, let me just copy, paste it. Yeah. This is our script. Let's run it. 
So we see that it's running on, on this address and now we can use it. But, uh, what we can do is let me just create a new terminal. Well, we use curl and curl is a special command line utility for communicating with the web services. And at least on localhost, we can use uh, 000, 000 like previously. And then uh, port is 9696. I don't specify here HTTP. By default, it's HTTP. We can uh, keep it, we can remove it. And then the address is pink. And then it replies with monk. You see, this is the response. And we can also use localhost here. It will be the same. So we can also do this from a browser because here we say it's a get request. We can do this from a browser. So localhost 9696 slash pink. And then we get punk as the request. I think we also see that uh, it keeps a lock of all the accesses. Yeah, so it's send a pink request. So at first we send a pink request from curl. Then uh, again, we send a pink request from curl. And then we send a pink request from, um, from the browser. And that's probably it for this lesson. So in this lesson, we looked at uh, Flask and we saw that it's relatively simple to turn a Python function into a web service and then access this function from uh, some other process like from terminal or from the browser or from any other place. So that's it. And yeah, so we talked about that. We talked about uh, creating a web service. And in the next lesson, we will see how to create our churn service, how to put our churn prediction model in Flask and have it available as web service. So see you soon.